Hey, it's Tim here in 21.4. You can now copy and paste. You can see here that I'm on a dashboard and the thing I'm gonna highlight here is that I'm on a floating dashboard here. So uh, I've deliberately set this up to sort of make this example easier. I've already got a text box and you can see here that if I click on this drop down option, I now have the option to copy this dashboard item. And if I go ahead and paste it, if I don't select uh, the canvas and I just leave everything as selected, it pastes it two pixels from the left and the right of the previous item. So you can see it kind of paste this in this diagonal direction because it's essentially creating this sort of buffer all the way down. If I deselect the item and then I paste, it'll always default by pasting it to the top left. And again, if I carry on there, it carries on. So every time I deselect, it keeps on doing that. Now, one of the things you'll obviously might want to naturally do if you get a bit overzealous of this is sort of click and drag. You can't do that because there's never a click and drag sort of behavior in a dashboard item. Even if we are in floating, this is not a canvas. It's not free-flowing canvas so what you can do is use the back button to undo any of those steps and you can kind of work your way back to an ideal solution okay so this is a really really nice to use feature now what else can you copy and paste let me drag a vertical container onto the dashboard. And one thing I'll do with this vertical container is I'll make the border bold and I'll make the background color like a nice sort of green color. And what you can do here is you can just highlight the item. And this time I'm gonna do Command C, Command V or Control C, Control V on a Windows. And you can see the same thing works and I can keep copying these items and this is all great. Now you can understand why I think floating is gonna be better in this context, because of course you can kind of set these up to uh, behave in a much, much better way. We don't quite have the ability to sort of snap things to a grid that would make this a lot easier to use we do have a grid here you can show the grid and you can go to grid options but unfortunately there is no snapping capability here that would make a lot of sense i know it's in the product just just make it available already tableau please um so yes uh you know you're gonna have to be really i guess thoughtful about this feature as you use it so i've shown you text i've shown you containers now there is a few catches to this i'll come to those in a second i just want to show you a couple of other really cool things. Let's say that I copy this container. Let's copy that from this page. I can actually go to another dashboard and this time around I'm going to go to this dashboard and I can actually make sure I click on this dashboard so Tableau knows I'm in this version. Then I can just paste it and you see here it pastes it on the top left. Okay, It kind of lets me copy it across dashboards. So if you've got a logo, if you've got some text, if you've got some notes that you want to copy from one dashboard to another, it's completely possible. You just go ahead, copy it, go to the next dashboard and paste. This is a really good workflow. This also works from desktop to web edit. Let's go over here. You can see that I have this dashboard here. I'm in web edit. I'm going to go in and hit edit. And once I'm in, in the edit view here, you can see everything is ready to go. I can go ahead, hit control V. And in this particular case, it didn't quite like it. Let's just make this a little bit larger. Let's make sure we've clicked inside of the dashboard here and let everything sort of uh, align itself. I'm just going to double check one thing. I'll open up a new dashboard and I'll hit control V there and it does work there. So it does actually copy the object over into web edit. If I go back to my uh, overview page, which is where I was, uh, and then I just try that again, you can see that it does finally work. So there's a little bit of a bug there just, um, just in terms of copying it across, but it does work if you sort of go with intent and you know just persist with the feature, it will work. So this is really cool. You can copy things from dashboards to dashboards. You can copy things from uh, dashboards to web edit and web edit back to the dashboard. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's select this container, go to layout. Let's go make this red. Uh, you can see we've changed the color. Now we're gonna copy this item here and we're gonna go back to our original dashboard, uh, pick, click inside of this, hit paste, and you can see we've now got the red box. Now what is interesting as I did that, you saw this box change sort of dimensions. and. That's sort of not reassuring in many ways because um, you know I gave it a dimension here. It's uh, 582 by 306. I go to my web edit here and I click on it and it's got a completely different uh, sort of bunch of parameters. Yeah? That's the exact same object, but for some reason it has different parameters. So for copy and paste, it doesn't, sort of do what you'd expect it to do out of the tin. It's sort of not consistent there. You'd expect these things to keep the same width and height. I don't really know why that is. It might just be sort of launch bugs, but again, um, something to sort of watch out for. Now, the last thing I'm gonna cover with this is that um, this feature I think is not intuitive. I was actually really excited about this and I saw the euphoria on Twitter and I thought, you know what, this is gonna be great for workflows. But unlike normal copy and paste, this, this feature actually has a lot of things to watch out for, a lot of quirks. 
Let me do this. Let me go ahead to a new sheet here. Let's just build a very, very simple chart. Let's uh, let's build a sales, uh, let's build a category here. And uh, let's actually put that out there and we'll put sales target. Let's just put there. It's a very crap, uh, you know, normal bar chart here. We'll go back to my dashboard. We'll go back to this layer and we'll put that sheet inside of my tiled container. So we'll put it inside of this one. You can see that it goes blue. My circle is showing you where my mouse is. If I drop it in there, that's where the sheet is. Let's get this to fill the entire view. And great, so before I put something in this container, you could copy and paste from it. Now, if I double click, select the container again, you'll see the copy and paste option's not there. And that's because you can't yet copy containers that contain things. And so it's kind of weird, right? Why would you copy a container that only has text? but nothing else. I mean, okay, makes sense if you've got a sidebar menu, but it's not really ideal. And so what I've actually had to do for this feature is go and get the notes because essentially there's actually quite a few things you can't do. So just to recap, you can copy and paste objects uh, within the current dashboards to other dashboards and so on and so forth, okay? That's sort of the, you know, the fun stuff. Now here's the things you can't do. You can't copy sheets in a dashboard. Items that rely on a specific sheet, such as filters, parameters, and legends can't be copied and pasted. Layout containers with something you can't copy inside of them, like a sheet or a filter. So if you put anything from the above into a container, then it immediately makes that container uncopy pasteable, if that makes sense. Objects on a device layout can't be copy and pasted at all. And dashboard titles can't be copied and pasted either. But that's never really a problem. That's actually quite a small thing. And so where this issue really falls apart is that you see, when you copy and paste in any other tool, you don't have to think about it. You can just go and do it. And the thing here is that actually Tableau is sort of still leaving some boundaries here. So you have to think about what you can and can't do. So in essence, you're gonna keep this simple. You're gonna keep this to copying logos and text and notes essentially, and images maybe on dashboards. That will make it sort of nice and easy for your workflow. But for everything else, that's not going to quite work. The other thing is it does sort of start to introduce this other language of user interface into the product. Copy and paste suggests that you can do this anywhere. For example, if I was to click on a dashboard, Board, hit control Z and then hit control paste, it doesn't quite work. But if I do go to a dashboard, right click and select duplicate, it kind of does the same thing. So I know those two aren't the same thing. I was trying to copy and paste the dashboard. It didn't quite work. But here the problem is that I've actually now got two ways of creating duplicate items. I've got the uh, object version, which is on a dashboard, which only works in a specific context with a long list of things you can't do. Then over here, I've got this other mechanism for right-clicking, creating duplicates for things like sheets and tabs in the view. And so I think this is confusing, but nonetheless, copy and paste is here. I think it's gonna change people's workflow. It will make it easier as long as you stay within the realms of the feature. So check it out. Let me know what you think in this video. And um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next feature video for 21.4.